Hey everybody, it's John and Karen, Dynamic Duo, back again. Hello. Um, yeah, we're back with a little more PPP info. It's funny because by the time we uploaded our video on Friday, like, I don't know, three or four things had changed, right? <laughs> I was like, John, should I even upload that? He's like, yeah, go ahead. So we did. So hopefully some of you at least got some of that starter information that you needed, but we wanted to come back and give you a little more because now the applications are out. Um, yes, they came yes. out over the weekend from the SBA. And so I know we've been sending them to members and we've been getting a lot of phone calls coming in, people asking for both the first draft and the second draft applications because they are different. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought it'd be a good idea if we could get on, John, and you could kind of walk people through what is it we need? Because I feel like that's the most common question I've been asked. Besides when I send someone the application, they say, what else do I need to send you back? So I thought yeah. we could kind of first go over the application because I know you had that put on our Forterra website. So I was going to screen share that real quick so that everybody can see where to find that. And of course, when I try yes. to share my screen, it goes. Yeah, and while, while you're working on that, um, I'll just I'll just share that uh, we try to make access to information here as easy as possible. Um, we understand that, you know, sometimes you can't make it out to visit a branch to get that information. So the best way to do it is to put it on our website. Um, so thanks to our marketing team, we got together and we were able to upload the applications that were released uh, from the SBA right on our website. So you can go to the business tab on the ForterraCU.com website. And on that tab, you will see the two separate applications, the one for the first draw of the PPP and one for the second draw. Right. So the, yeah, the, all, it tells everyone that's you know eligible. Um, and I know we're gonna go over a little bit more of that. And we did that on our first call as well, but there you go. Just go to ForterraCU.com and click this business tab and it's right there, that's SBA. So I'm gonna stop that share for just a moment. And then another one we were going to show you guys is the um, EIDL, because there's a little confusion around that as well. Uh, people are asking us if we can help them apply for that, but that's not the process that we're doing, right, John? Right. There's two separate programs that are out there, and they, you know, they were out with the original um, CARES Act that was, that was um, released earlier this year. Um, but the EIDL, so that is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, and that's administered directly through the SBA. So you actually have to go to the sba.gov website to Economic Injury Disaster Loan and apply for that one there. It's not done through any financial institution. We don't do it here. We don't um, help in that process either. We have, we're just... It, it's done directly through the SBA. So there's, it's pretty easy. It's a very user-friendly process to go through. Um, just click apply and it'll, it'll walk you through it. Okay. Did you see that on your screen? Did it come up? I see it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I didn't see the Forterra CU um, link though. Oh, when the Forterra was up, you didn't see it? <laughs> I didn't see that one. What were you seeing? Were you seeing anything? I saw your window screen. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, let me show you guys real quick. That stinks. I wish I would have known that. Okay. Technology is our friend, people. Sometimes. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Sometimes it's just not as time, but at least we told you what it was, right? <laughs> yeah, that's good. This is a blooper reel. This is great. <laughs> All right. You can see how easy it is to make a professional quality video right here with Karen and John. Okay. Right. So we're gonna try this again. Okay, now we see four tiers of you. It, it, there it is. There yep. it is. What a beautiful website. Although I know there's like a brand new update coming really soon. Yeah, we have a whole revamped website coming out. It's gonna be amazingly beautiful. Um, so this is gonna change, but yeah, th th this has been updated since as well anyway so it looks a whole lot better than it used to right so you do this business tab uh right here is what you were saying on the business tab you just scroll down here 
And there is that SBA Paycheck Protection Program. Yep, and the two links to the applications are right there. You see the Paycheck Protection Program borrow application and the, the second draw borrow application are there. Um, we're, I'm also gonna upload a, a document showing um, what you need to gather for this application because it's not just filling out this form and submitting it. Uh, they wanna see your actual payroll and how you calculate the amount that you need. So uh, we're uploading a document that's gonna run through that process for you that you can download and bring with you to your accountant or your bookkeeper who's gonna help you um, uh, get this application together. Right, I'll screen share that as well. Um, and while we're on here though, I will say if you've not put in for forgiveness, we do have a few members and we mentioned that the other day, right here, we actually have this form. So submit your PPP forgiveness, you need to do that. So. Yes. There's that one. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to bring over this document that John is talking about. I figured out what it was. I, I have three screens, so I was sharing the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's some of the things John put together for us. Documents we need. If you want to take us through some of this. Yeah. So, and I got this directly from the SBA site. So this is just so you know that we follow the guidelines that are passed down to us from the SBA. These loans that, that, um, that, that are available now are not created by the financial institutions. They come directly from the government and the SBA. And we're just pretty much the middleman here. We, we help in the uh, submittal of the loans and the kind of like the, the maintenance of it. Um, so uh, the, as you can see, you have the documents needed for the PPP application, and I'm just going to give you the first snippet. Um, you must submit documentation sufficient to establish eligibility and to demonstrate the qualifying payroll amount that you're asking for, right? And that, that can include payroll records, tax filings, a 1099 form, your Schedule C or F, and income and expenses from a sole proprietorship or bank records. So this information, if you don't have it or you don't know what it is, I highly recommend getting with your accountant or your bookkeeper. Uh, they can definitely help you with that process. It's it's pretty easy to get. Um, you wanna, your Schedule C or Schedule F is typically on a tax return. So if you filed your 2019 tax return, you'll see that information there. Yeah, so definitely, I know we've had questions. People are asking, you know, well, I'm a 1099 employee, so I, perhaps lost my income last year. You know, that's how their business paid them. So not only is the business perhaps looking for funding, but they can themselves as an individual apply for this, correct? Correct, yep. Okay. If you get paid through 1099, then you are an independent contractor. So you're either independent contractor or you're a sole proprietor. And if you're paid through, through 1099, then you can apply for the PPP loan. Okay. So keep that in mind. And I know there's a lot of people, we've had these conversations, uh, John and I have with some of our members that have even said, well, I didn't apply last round because I felt like maybe, you know, I was taking money away from people that need it. This is what it's here for. It's here for you. The, it's really for the true small businesses. And what we saw in the beginning of all this last year, the large corporations were the ones applying. And I know John spoke about that on our last videos that, you know, there's money set aside specifically for that small business group, right? Yep, it's set aside, and uh, you know, so when you when you apply, there's a there's a demographic form that um, that would behoove you to fill out because that's how the SBA determines which bucket to to move the application through. And it also streamlines the process. One thing I want to make sure that, that people understand as well is that in order to get a PPP loan, your business had to be established before February 15th of 2020. Right. So on or before February 15th of 2020. If you weren't established in that time frame, then the PPP is not going to be, you're not eligible for the PPP. You can look at the EIDL still but the PPP, you won't be eligible for. Right. Yeah, and John and I have lots of things we could share. <laughs> Business startups, how to look for funding. That's like a whole series of videos outside of this. So we're Most definitely. There'll be more to come. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we've got the documents we need. They've got their payroll verification you spoke about. Um, 
will be calculating here on that Schedule C. So this will be a great document that John's going to get uploaded to our site for TerraCU.com and just click on the Business tab. Yep. Thank you very much. Again, for TerraCU.com, click on the Business tab and it takes you right to what you need for the forgiveness or the application of PPP. All right. Thanks, everybody.